So the prices of getting new memory cards, it hurts a little bit. What do I mean by that? Well, for those OG blue memory cards, the lowest amount of data that you can get on there was 128 megabytes, or maybe two or three raw still photos in today's terms. So looking back at that history, we know for a fact the price is gonna drop on memory cards. The tech's gonna get better, but you say that happens with everything in the electric device spear universe. Correct, but maybe not quite at the rate that memory cards will decrease in value. So it's an essential investment, don't get me wrong, to work the camera properly to get the most out of it. But it's just an investment that is not gonna age particularly well. There is no question at all that Sony's indeed needed faster cards inside of their cameras. Watching that buffer, just buffer, and hopefully nothing gets corrupted. This is not a fun time. Let's hop on a computer right now and see what our options are looking like here in August 2020. All right, so over here on the interwebs, first thing first to try to knock out the way is get your memory cards from reputable sources online. That means if it's on Newegg, if it's on Amazon, make sure it's sold shit by Amazon or SanDisk maybe if that's the particular car you're looking at. However, Oh, Jaeger Shots here does not forget the little guy. There are reputable sources out there who aren't as big as your Amazons or your B&H Photo. A site like DealsAllYear.com has great reviews on the products. Some of their biggest things are gray market cameras, which is absolutely nothing wrong with the gray market area of cameras. That's a separate video, though, for another day. Getting back to the memory cards. You can't get away with V60 rated cards. I don't recommend that. And basically, the V60, the V90, it's got two rows of pins in the back of the card. That's how you'll be able to tell the difference. And those in the two pins just means a much, much better write speed. Luckily, the A7S III camera is gonna be able to take just about every mode on the SD, except for really those two, which could be big depending on who you are, and maybe not that big a deal depending on who you are as well. Of course, this is not at all sponsored, but I have used LensRentals.com quite a bit, and they do rent things such as memory cards. The SD cards, I'm sure the CF Express Type A memory cards are going to be available as well. Because if you're doing something like a wedding that you may not be doing every single day or really every single month, having a bunch of these cards at such a high price point is not really ideal, so just get them for when you need them. So, one Letstar 128 gigabyte card is going for 168. They have 32 gig versions, of course, 64 gig, 128 gig. I'm gonna lean towards a higher gigabyte for storage reasons, not because it's to be fancy, but because really practically we're war use. <laughs> the A7S III is gonna take way more room on the memory card than most of Sony's has come before. So you're gonna want that space. You really don't want the headache of worrying about room. There is a two pack variant of the Latsar card for 336. Now we're gonna move over to the CFS Rest Type A cards and let's talk about the price where 160 gigabyte Sony CF Express card type A is gonna run you around 398. I don't know if those prices are really gonna to drop too much inside of 2020. We will see how the year progresses, but that's where they are right now. And Sony's the only one who's making these type A cards. Now, if you go online, you can find someone who's got a problem with every car manufacturer, but I do specifically remember some of the Sony branded cards not performing well in all of the alpha cameras. Some peculiar reason there. Hopefully that won't be the case with these <laughs> CF Express Type A cars from Sony that will work well in the Sony cameras. Something to keep an eye on. All right, I'm bouncing back and forth here between the SD and CF Express Type A, but there is an SD card that's been making rounds. The ProGrade has been getting rave reviews by a lot of the high-end creatives on the web who are using these V90 cards in a 256 gigabyte ProGrade card is gonna run you about 239 for one. This is one of the kickers when it comes to these cards too. It's say this 256 gigabyte card, you get another one to shoot redundantly, you're not all of a sudden gonna have 512 gigabytes of memory because you're shooting redundant to back up the footage that you're shooting. So you're not gonna be gaining an extra 256 gigs in memory when you purchase two cars, but you wanna shoot redundantly, which is highly recommended in case anything were to happen to these cars when you're doing something that you just cannot recover, such as a wedding. Okay, hopping back on the CF Express Type A cards, you will, in some cases, 
maybe, this is a, has a caveat, you will need a card reader. And for that, Sony's making one of those, which could be around 119 by the time it comes out to read the Sea of Express Type A cards. So that's even more onto the price of the camera here that might not really get talked about too much. You could be able to just hook up a USB-C and transfer your photos off the camera that way. You also could have an option to hook a USB-C into an ethernet cable for FTP transfer. Also wireless transfer over five gigahertz of transfer data could also be an option that might keep you from having to buy an external card reader to read the CF Express Type A cards. So that is it. That is the not that deep a dive into cards, but the prices are going to be whew, something to swallow for tech that seemingly doesn't age terribly well, but is absolutely essential to be able to use with the camera. There's no denying that. And the memories that hopefully you capture with them will be worth the cost of these memory cars. I've got links to some of these cars in the description below, affiliate links that is, so if you're using any of those it really does help me out. Make sure to stop by JaegerShots.com to check out our photo and video themed apparel, and as always, subscribe to never miss a shot from JaegerShots.com. And just going through my bag of memory cars, it looks more like they should be holding some party favors. No, oh, that is not, no. <laughs> Um, card reader. No, that doesn't fit the criteria either.